everybody how's it going so today we got a quick introduction to the channel video for the small rig 3088 cage with the um, uh, mic adapter bracket as well as the Telesyn cage for the GoPro Hero 9 so please stick around check out the video and I'll see you guys there thank you for watching what is up everybody how's it going so before we get started please like comment subscribe and smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates all right so this is going to be a quick introduction to the channel video we got two gopro hero 9 cages here um so i use a lot of telesyn stuff i like their stuff um which this bag these two items right here everything right here came in this bag bag says Telesyn on it. I like their batteries as well. Their battery chargers are nice also, um, which is an awesome plus. So this is nothing, you know, extremely fancy. I did pick it up because I like that it is gray. Um, so it's got slide up. So this is like a traditional um, GoPro Hero 6 or 7 or 8 cage. You know, the door slides up slide it back down to lock it in it does have a cold shoe here as well as a cold shoe on the top um, it's got one two three four five quarter 20 mounts on the bottom as well as it does have a traditional style aluminum gray shoe that mounts to these two little holes in the center um, like that um, I do have other videos on this guy. Um, you guys are going to see the, the introduction to the channel videos first. I paid um, 25 bucks or something like that for this cage. Um, with this, this right here, it actually is for the GoPro Hero 9 itself. It's a pass-through door for the GoPro Hero 9. This is normally from Telesyn, is normally $15 by itself. But when you bundle it with this, it, this um, door ends up being $5. So the cage is 20, this was five. Um, if I would have bought them separate, um, the cage would have been 20 and this would have been 15. So for the extra $5, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, you know, it's not a fancy, you know, got huge amount of features on it cage, but it is a nice cage. Um, I like purchasing multiple cages to do multiple setups on and figure out which one I like the best. Previous video, I did show the, the 3084. So on this one is the th 3088. Um, and the only difference between the 3084 and the 3088 is the 3088 comes with this bracket um, for your, your mic adapter, excuse me. It's the exact same cage as the 3084. The only difference is it comes with the optional mic adapter that you can buy separate. Um, same exact cage. You could use this Allen key to remove this pin right here. This little bolt. Remove that pin. If you push this button on the front, it unhooks it. You can take the whole cover off. Um, it's a very unique design when it comes to the way this is set up. Um, some of the, the Ulanzi cages do the same thing as well. It just really depends on the cage. Which we do have a couple Ulanzi cages we are gonna look at as well on the next video. So, flip the door closed. If you wanna open this guy, you push this button, swing it open. And now the mic adapter is now out of the way. You can pull completely pull the camera out. Um, no issues at all. 
the mic adapters uh, plug will pass through this port right here and um, you can also put this on the other cage because it came with the exact same door um, so this door has two um, quarter 20s on it and that's how this is mounted here you can mount you can mount this in theory on this side as well but the mic adapter is not going to reach that far um, that I've tried but all in all it's still got the same finger mounts on the bottom if you want to use those you can replace the pins as well on the front um, if you unbolt this door you can actually pull the pins out from the back or hammer the pins through the front if you want. Um, it does also still just like the 88 or the, the 3084, not the 88. Uh, it also has these magnetic little magnets right here. I'm um, not magnetic magnets, of course, magnets are magnetic. The elevator didn't go all the way up. All right, so it still has magnets in here that holds these feet down nice and secure. That is a nice feature. I wish the Ulanzis had that feature and they don't. Um, but all in all, there's a couple new cages we're going to be bringing to the channel. Uh, this larger Allen key is actually to take these out. These larger quarter 20s. If you want to take that off, you can. But that's that's pretty much it for the you know the quick introduction to the channel. The does this will the Telesyn does come with some foam um, glue paddings that you can put in the cage to make sure that the camera doesn't rub in the cage. Comes with um, all the Allen keys needed. Uh, the smaller Allen key for the uh, the finger mount. And the, the little bit larger one for the cage. You know, all in all, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. I will put links in the description below for these cages as well if you guys are interested in them. Um... They're not too bad on price. You know, metal cages vary between 15 and 50 bucks, somewhere in there. I didn't pay $50 for either one of these cages. I think this one was like 29 to 30 bucks, something like that. No, I think this one was 34, where the one without this mount was 29, if I remember correctly. But um, one last thing, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, non-subscribers, the people that like, dislike, people that watch the videos. Um, as well as the people that watch the ads every once in a while on the videos and the people that use the affiliate links because you guys are the reason that the channel is monetized. And I want to say thank you very, very much for all the help. I never imagined that I'd be above a 1,000 subscribers. Um, and I just want to say thank you. I do plan on doing head-to-heads with tools um, on the channel as well um, since the channel is making money. I'm going to start buying wood with the money from the channel. Uh, I do need to pick up two Sheetmaster jaw horses for personal use as well as they're going to be seen on the channel to hold the wood down while we're using um, the head-to-head -head and doing the head-to-heads and using the tools. So we got Milwaukee M12 and M18 brushed and brushless um, fuel tools as well as we got DeWalt 8 volt. 12 volt extreme, 20 volt XR, 60 volt flex volt, 120 volt flex volt. We got Metabo um, 18 volt as well as 12 volt. We got Makita 7.2 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 18 volt, and 36 volt X2 as well as we're going to be bringing the 40 volt and 80 volt Makita tools to the channel as well. And also got the uh, uh, Metabo, I think I said Metabo HPT, um, Hitachi Power Tools, 18 volt and 36 volt multi volt. If I didn't, I there it is right there. Uh, got Bosch sticks, 18 volt, 
Um, got uh, 20, uh, 20 volt and 18, or uh, 12 volt and 20 volt of their Earthquake XT power tools from Harbor Freight, um, as well as I got Ryobi 18 volt um, as well on the channel. Um, and if anybody wants to, uh, you know, provide some older Ryobi tools to the channel for these head-to-heads, please get a hold of me in, con uh, in the comments or in my email, which is provided on the YouTube channel. Um, you're more than welcome to send some tools for me to uh, do head-to-heads with, and then I can send them back when I'm done using them. I don't plan on breaking any tools or anything like that. Just some simple tests with spades and, and, and hole saws and a few other things, you know, lags, a couple different lag sizes, a couple different screw types, screw, screw sizes and everything else. Um, but get a hold of me if that's something that interests you guys um, and you guys, you know, have some older tools. I don't plan on buying any hammer drills or drill drivers or impact drivers or anything like that from Ryobi, but who knows, maybe in the future. Um, when I'm when the channel's making more money where it's more affordable that I can just go buy tools whenever I want um, for the channel but at this moment I can't uh, I still have businesses to run and they come first as well as my family so if you have any Ryobi tools that you could provide for you know me to use for a month or so you know that'd be awesome and uh, very much appreciated if not it's okay uh, keep doing what you do watch the videos and and like on the like the videos dislike the videos whatever you're doing it's still much appreciated um, but if any of the tool head-to-heads that are interesting to you guys I also have some corded tools I got um, Bosch Makita DeWalt Stanley Black and Decker Black and Decker themselves Porter Cable and a few other corded tools as well as well as I have pneumatic tools we can always do testing on if any of those things interest you guys please smush the bell notification icon for future updates hope you guys have an awesome awesome rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next video peace